What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rick Parma. And today I'm going to talk about the three gears of the voice differing from style. Okay? You've all, if you've seen my other videos, you know I've referred to the voice as like an engine with three gears. Okay? For your low and slow speeds, your mid, mid-range mid speeds, and then your high, fast speeds. Okay? But then there's style. Okay? So I could sing all day like this, I could sing like that, la 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 la, and I could sing like this in my second gear, or I can sing like this in my third gear. Yeah, okay? Where there's really no style, okay? That's where style comes in. And this is the part that drives me crazy when they talk about the high range. Still. Some, some people will say falsetto, reinforced falsetto. Some people say falsetto is your airy gear and... And then they say, well, you can do reinforced falsetto. And I'm like, that makes no sense. Because let me show you. And I've, I, I did went into the detail about this a long time ago um, about the three ranges. But this, this video is going to be in-depth in just this section, okay? Style in your voice is volume, up or down, velocity, how hard you're hitting a note, and then the difference between an airy note and a very connected note and the range in the middle. So first we're going to talk about volume real quick. Volume is volume. I can sing loud. I can sing loud. I can sing quiet. I can sing quiet. Okay? That's it. It's volume. How loud do you want to sing the song? Whatever. Velocity is different. I can sing loud. I can sing loud. How hard are you hitting that note? That's velocity, okay? Your impact of how you're singing that song. And then the, the third section of style is airy notes versus connected notes. Now you say, well, what's that mean, connected notes and airy notes? Well, this is where most vocal teachers get a little bit too convoluted because they want to all sound like scientists. It's just plain and simple. You're you have vocal cords, okay? And they and they they vibrate. The more connected they are, you're going to sound like this. Uh 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 you hear that uh uh that means your vocal cords are co connecting more and they're pushing a, a pushing a note through. Always think of a balloon when you blow up a balloon and you and you and you pull it, it go it can go or it can go or it can go you, the harder you pull it, the, the louder the, the the higher pitch the notes, and the the lower you, you, it flops out. Right, that's what your vocal cords are. Your low notes are, um, your low notes, mid notes, and high notes have nothing to do with what your vocal cords are doing. Your style has to do with what your vocal cords are doing. Okay, so your connected voice. In your in your low register is like this. Okay, I'm talking in my low register. You can hear a distinct start of every of every word, and and you can hear a distinct closure of every word. Now I'm gonna make it airy and push a lot of air through my voice, and you're gonna hear uh, before every word and after every word. Okay, that's an airy version of the same note. Uh, okay? Now, your second gear is the same thing. This is why I say, I don't know why they confuse the hell out of this. It's partially because they're taught by uh, some other people. They regurgitate what they learned from somebody else, and now this person learned it, and they're regurgitating what they... It's stupid. It's like what the same thing in school. They just learn the from the book... And then you learn what the book says, and if you could repeat it, that means, hey, you get an A. That's stupid. Explain it for yourself. Make it easy on yourself. So you clearly heard me do a connected sound and an airy sound uh, in my low register. Now I'm in my gear two. My, so my first gear we did, gear two, I'm right here, first gear. This is my connected sound, and this is my not connected sound, my airy sound, Okay. So, if you want to sing like this, you got to not connect to so much. Yeah. The problem is, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. 
But if you want to sing like this and you connect your nose really stinking tight, <laughs> that, that is your style. Now you can go in the middle. There's a, there's a slight in the middle. Uh, just adding a little bit of air and not being so. So like, uh, so here we'll go with, um, uh, You hear how there's a lot of air, less air, no air. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference in gear number two. Now you have gear number three. This is the one that drives me crazy. They say that falsetto is your airy, disconnected, uh, fruity tooty floaty voice. Then what is this? They're saying this is reinforced falsetto. They're wrong. There's your third gear, connected or airy. <laughs> airy, connected. Just like in gear two, just like in gear three. So don't worry about terms, okay? Just worry about what gear am I singing this song in? When I go higher, do I need to switch to the second gear or can I sing it in my first gear? Can I, do I have, when I go higher, do I, have to, do I have to sing it in my third gear yet or, or am I still in my second gear? That's kind of going to be up to you and that's also going to be up to your body. Everybody's range is different. So a girl that, a girl that starts like this, like my voice is always here. This is kind of my regular talking voice. Chances are I'm going to take my voice up a little higher than the average guy will before she has to switch into gear three. And a baritone guy who's always down like this, and I, I talk really low, his range before he hits, you know, having to switch into the second gear is going to be different from the girl over there or the guy over there or me. or any, Everybody's different. But the fact that everybody still has the low first gear, second gear, third gear, like I've explained in all my videos, that's the thing that is the standard for everybody. You just have to know yours. You have to know your your lowest note, and take that up to as high as you can. That's your peak. You can learn how to stretch it. You can always strengthen and go a little more, but the, the optimal is to be able to switch into the next gear, take that as high as you can. You can grow that. You can strengthen that even more, but the optimal is to switch into the next gear and go higher, okay? Uh, so that's the difference in style. You have volume, you have velocity, and then you have your connected versus your airy and the range of it in between. That is how you use your style in different types of the voice. Okay? Uh, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. This was a longer video. It's eight minutes. But um, like I said, if you like the video, subscribe. If you have comments, anything, put it in this comment section, and I'll be able to happy to get to those later on. Um, peace. I'll get to the next one. Here we go.